Welcome to our next video. We're talking about CFA Level 1 exam. Part of the CFA Level 1 exam is economics. And economics, as I can give you an overview here, consists of, for example, demand and supply analysis, or market structure, or microeconomics, and so on and so on. So we'll be talking about this in this video, demand function. Quantity demanded and the causes of shifts. Let's take a look at this. That's an example of a demand function. So, as we can see here, the price equals 8 minus 4 times the quantity. So, if the price is equal to 4, for example, the price equals 4, we get the quantity demanded equal to 1, because 8 minus 4 times 1 is equal to 4. So you put in the price, you put the price on the left side of the equation, and you get, if you solve for the quantity demanded, you get the quantity. So a price of 4 equals to quantity demanded of 1, whereas a price of 6 leads to a quantity demanded of 0 0.5, and so on, and so on. So that's the concept of demand function. So what's next? As we can see here, there's the causes of shifts. The causes of shifts. And what did I say here? Decrease in income. If there is a decrease in income, the shift of demand curve, there is going to happen a shift of the, of the demand curve to the left. If income decreases. So this is what happens. If income increases, we get a shift to the right. If the income increases, we get a shift to the right. So income rises as well as the quantity demanded. So for each single price, there's a larger quantity demanded. That's important to understand concerning when it comes to the income when it comes to the, to the income. And if there is an increase in income, as I just said, there is a shift of demand curve to the right. That's important to understand when it comes to the quantity demanded. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.